Mike Tyson was being interviewed on the Today Show with Matt Lauer. Uh, whether you are a mom and you love or hate Matt Lauer, stay with us. So last Friday, uh, Friday Night Fights, of course, on ESPN2, and he was saying basically that he has a struggle being sober. He's struggling staying sober. Mm -hmm. He lied to many people, and he was suicidal, and he's dealing with being an alcoholic, and he, you know, he went six days without alcohol, and that's a blessing. So then he said to Matt Lauer, and I quote, and then we'll get into your take, when I start drinking and I relapse, I think of dying. When I'm in a real dark mood, I think of dying, and I don't want to be around no more. I won't survive unless I get help. He says he was born with all these fucked up thoughts, basically, I'm, I'm summarizing. And then he goes on to say, and I quote, yes, it's a real challenge because I don't know if I like this sober guy. It's hard for me to live normal. Straight is hard. I'm a king of the barbarians. There's no one that could surpass me in the pain that I've endured. Now, when you talked about the commenters and people in the public mm -hmm. with Lamar Odom, Saying, oh, well, he, you know, you're addicted. Why don't you just get help? That's the same reaction they were having to the one, the one article that I decided to go through the comments with Sports Illustrated, where right. I saw the quotes firstly. And they were saying, so what? You're an alcoholic, get help. But it's not that easy. I mean, it's just simply not that easy. Like it, it, the, people think money is the solution to every problem. The kid from, um, from Glee who, who just died, overdosed. I forget his name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Corey Monteith, Monteith, thank you. Yeah. And then so, so well, I mean, there's people that work with us that have said, oh man, you know what, you, you, could, have, you could have taken care of yourself, man. You could have gone and got help. You have money, man. Money does not, which is why when people start without it, and maybe they have some kind of a great career move, and they get the money, then they learn right then, like, I have all this stuff now. I'm still the same person yeah. with the same issues that I had from whatever, when you were a child, when you were an adult, whatever you went through that you didn't get over, and then you have an addictive personality on top of it, it's a brain condition, man. There's a tick, your, your yes. brain wants it once it's had it. Now, maybe you can counsel people to never try it and to know what could happen, but there's alcohol, there's alcohol. But everyone's Alcoholics different. out there too. It's, it's everyone, you know, someone may try a drink, they don't know, and they're like, oh my right. God, I now am suppressing all these things I never want to think about. It's tough just to say money will solve it. It's a personal struggle, mm -hmm. is basically what it is. And again, you, everyone's different. You don't know what your reaction is going to be to certain things. And as you said, I mean, growing up in Brooklyn, he had a rough upbringing. It's so much easier said than done from mm -hmm. a person behind a computer saying, just get help. It's not that easy. Plus, you don't want to have that guilt trip within yourself, yeah. as Mike Tyson probably doesn't. And, with, and if, if, as you were saying, people can just say it from their keyboards on the internet about just get it. Because then it makes them feel better. Because everyone has their issues. And theirs isn't out there in, in front of everyone to see. And again, let's not get it wrong. Mike Tyson's done a lot of horrible things. And I think that's what I'm saying. He's, but he's, he's, trying he's to pointing turn out him. how he's done all these things. And maybe we can find out why or what demons he's, he's got. Who knows? But, I mean, he needs to figure it out first is the first problem. And well, I see, it sounds like he has, but it also sounds like it's a cry for help. Mm -hmm. Like he wants someone to come and swoop him yeah. from this dark place that he's in take him under their wing and just counsel him and just not put him in like a, a, a mental ward or anything yeah. like that, but just like put him on lockdown, go through the counseling. I mean, everything, it's, it's a cry for help. In and, my then we, and again, this, this is my, my expertise is based on things you'll see on TV and psychoanalysis and sure. rehab shows, you know? And then when we find out, people always say, it's a lifelong struggle, even after they're sober. Someone could be sober for 15 years. And, it's and they have a, that one drink. It's every day. Yep. They, have, they have to deal with it the rest of their life.